another day, another vlog. Semi feeling 10% more comfortable with this. Still not comfy in public, but I did get this guy, $9.99 on Amazon. We'll see if I like it, it's bendy. I'm gonna try to hook it up onto Asher's car seat and then I can just have my phone kind of dangling and I feel less weird about holding up a phone. So a little more inconspicuous when I'm out in public filming. Uh, so yeah, we'll see if that works. It came with like the little phone mount and I think we're gonna go, we need to go grocery shopping. I need to cut my grocery bills down a lot though now that we're on one income and I am still researching how to do that. A lot of it's going to be just getting, we get a lot of off-brand stuff, maybe more of it um, and less stuff at a time. So we're going to go to Aldi today. I don't normally shop at this Aldi, um, obviously we just moved here, <laughs> but like in general, Aldi shopping, I used to do that like years ago, but I don't remember exactly like what things are cheaper and what things aren't because not everything there is cheaper. So I just need to go around all different stores in the area and kind of get a grasp on like what I can get at what places. We have time, so we can go to more grocery stores than just one. I also need to go to the car shop. I had to get something, my power steering went out and I had to get like this, I still don't even understand what was wrong with it. Something about like my hubcap had a bad wire in it, a sensor that made the power steering shut off and that cost me $680. And like while it was in the shop because I had to leave it there overnight, I was like, hey, can you check into visors for me to see how much they are because my visor is broken. Um, not the visor itself, but like where your mirror is the like lid cap whatever to it is broken off so like if i have my visor down i'm looking at myself which is really distracting and i don't want to look at myself uh unless i have like an eyelash in my eye i don't want to see myself in the car so i really wanted that fixed but um they said they called me back to give me a price and they never did and then i just got a call today and it's been i don't even know what day it is today friday it's been like four days since it's been in the shop and they're like your part came and I was like I didn't order one because I was assuming everything's overpriced that it would be so expensive so obviously I did not want them to order it and they did anyways and it's mine uh, but luckily it's only eight dollars so <laughs> I don't know how it's only eight dollars but it's only eight dollars I assumed it would be like at least 80 to 200 for something as minor as just like the little plastic thing on the visor. I always assumed they'd be like the whole visor needs to be replaced. It doesn't though. So I'm happy with that. We're going to get that fixed. So Aldi there and maybe a Starbucks. I need to... I'm really good at not going to Starbucks, but since moving here and Starbucks is like within a mile of my house, it's hard not to go there sometimes. So I think we're also getting a couple clothing items in the mail and I'm very excited for it because I ordered a pair of jeans, a size up. I'm hoping it fits. I will update you guys if it does or doesn't. It's not here yet. I'll give you guys an outfit of the day. I'm convincing. So Randall is not convinced that I need a full length mirror and I keep telling him I need a full length mirror because I love them one, but also like to see my outfits with shoes because it's really annoying not being able to see my feet. And looking at myself right now, I can see my feet in this mirror. So you're gonna look at it and be like, oh, you're fine. Um, but I just really want a full length one. So maybe, maybe this week we can get one. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Outfit of the day. This tank is just from my, just whole brain shut off there. I just had a whole shutdown moment. Everything went black. <laughs> Again, uh, not Home Goods. TJ Maxx. It's the one I got in the last one. Um, really comfy. It's a set. It like is razor back. So I love this. I will definitely maybe get more if I can find them in more colors next time I go back. Um, because it does go down like decently far to where I can just pull my pants up and like I'm not showing any belly. And these are Gymshark uh, joggers. They're, I don't love these because I want, I want bigger pants. So maybe I can find a pair of bigger sweats, like big baggy ones. These are like tight and they're supposed to be, uh, but I, I, on a normal day, I don't want to be wearing, like if I wanted to wear leggings, I'd wear leggings. Um, I'm still struggling, like mom body. This area, I've never like gained weight 
there before and it's just weird having weight there so these don't look the best on me but they are comfy and i'm gonna wear them today <laughs> Ugh. i need to give myself more grace i did pop out a baby 12 weeks ago so that will gym wise i just my whole core itself is just not not the same i can't do a sit up maybe i'll do a series of can Brittany do more than one sit-up at a time? <laughs> Asher's nursery stuff also came in. And I have not moved a single thing. Uh, that's where the delivery people dropped it off. And that's where it's been sitting. Because Randall is starting or already started work this week. So it's literally just been me from 5.30 a.m. till 7.30 p.m. every day. Not that I can't put this together, but one, it's really heavy, and two, it's really hard to find time to, like, dead, like, I'd have to have many breaks if I'm doing it by myself, and, um, I just, I want help with it, so I'm gonna wait till Randall can help me. I'll vlog that for you guys to see, like, the setup and everything. Look at you, cutie! You're such a cutie! You're such a cute little baby! You're such a cute <laughs> car dealership and I didn't even think of looking at my visor to see like is it fixed and I pulled it down and this is what I see which is still me I have no idea what they did what they fixed what nine dollar part they thought that I wanted fixed but I thought I explained with the visor I don't want to look at myself anymore so I have just like, I don't have the energy to call and ask or even go into like getting this part fixed at this point. Next time I have a car issue, maybe I'll bring it up again. But I, I honestly have no idea what they fixed on here. Did we just have a Lowe's 2.0? Did you just poop all over your car seat again? Is it because we're trying to use up all these size one pampers and you need size two? Yes, is that why? Probably. Let's get you changed, baby. Oh, here's a grocery haul. I think cheeses are probably going to be the winner of the show. So this is everything I got from Aldi. I'll tell you the price at the end. We have baby spinach, tilapia, um, frozen peas. I also... Let's see if I can get mom to study. I also got some... Also got some stir fry, comes with the sauce, and some frozen shrimp that I'm going to use in that stir fry, which is tail off and divine, which I definitely needed. Honey crisp apples, strawberries, they look delicious, some carrots, some avocados and lemons and bananas and bread, and... I must call those potatoes. Those are definitely mushrooms, olive oil spray, ketchup. I'm gonna put those in a container before Randall sees that they are not cheeses. I'm curious if he uh, notices a difference, but we both love white cheddar cheeses. Seal cut oats. That is just canned chicken, which I want to make not enchiladas with, um, quesadillas with, some zucchini. I'm trying out this keto friendly. Uh, wraps. I'm not keto. He's not keto. I just wanted to try it. <laughs> you know, wine. This was only $7.99 and it's peach Moscato and it's supposed to be four, like equal to four wine bottles. So, you know, classy with that. Sweet potatoes, uh, onion powder, some uh, hot dogs. I saw these lemon shortbread cookies. I love the Girl Scout lemon shortbread cookies, so I'm gonna stick those in the freezer because I love my cookies frozen and see how they taste. Some eggs, 
some bacon that uh, you just microwave, it's already pre-cooked. Ham, sausage, chicken drumsticks. We love our drumsticks. And then um, I'm gonna go through the cheeses because I got way more than I thought I did. Taco style, mozzarella, sharp cheddar, crumbled goat cheese. I love this stuff. Feta, also love that on pizza. Cheddar slices, pepper jack slices, angry BB. And the very last one is, ooh, Havarti. I can get that. It's really hard to do when I have one baby in one hand and the camera in the other. So all of that totaled $126.31. And I gotta be honest here, I didn't get everything that I needed, so I'm gonna have to go back to another grocery store. I think that's the problem with Aldi, is that you can't get everything you need when you're looking to make like a legit grocery list and like meals. I'd say it's definitely something that you need to go into knowing you're not gonna get everything, but get the stuff that like is cheaper there and just make a couple trips to the grocery for the week, which, you know what, we have time to do, so we can do that. But I did get some good deals, and I do think for what, I got 126 is pretty good. Let me know in the comments what your, like, if you have all these tricks or whatever, things that you specifically get there and what you steer away from. Um, like I said, I haven't really done research in the different grocery stores in our area to see what is cheaper and what's not. But I got a lot of the stuff that I normally get, just not all of it. So we're going to go into Meyer tomorrow, probably. Meyer, Kroger. Kroger always has some really good deals on meat, so we'll do that. I think I mentioned it earlier, but my Luca and Gray stuff said it was delivered. We're going to go get it. I bought a pair of pants, a tank top bodysuit, and some earrings. So what else do you want to see? Hello. Hello, you sitting on the nursery stuff? Hi, nice to meet you. And plant-based bag, cool. Oh, I forgot I got a workout set. Well, let's try them on. Outfit number one, this came as a set. I don't think I told you guys, this was on, they had a 40% off one day sale. So I got a large thinking like, because I wanted it comfy and not tight. And also it's a lighter color, I didn't want to be see-through, but this is still a bit see-through. Probably gonna be more of a wearing at my house rather than a wearing to the gym. It's cute, it's comfy, it's just I don't, feel like I mean I might try wearing it to the gym maybe if I had a darker pair of undies it might look a little less because it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone I don't know I'll play around with it and see so first outfit here outfit number two I have some beautiful <laughs> almost hit the glass with my camera beautiful earrings if it will focus and they're super lightweight I have this square neck bodysuit. I did not change my bra. I just have a um, Razorback sports bra on that I have it like tucked in so it doesn't look quite right. Um, I love this neckline. I think this is really nice. Um, it's really tight though, like this way. <laughs> this way is like, if it's fine, it's supposed to be kind of tighter there. But um, I think I'm just gonna have to unhook it because my torso is just, I guess longer than the bodysuit. And the jeans actually fit perfectly. I was really nervous for these, but they fit like actually dead on. They are a little long, but I, I'm okay with it. And they're um they're not stretchy jeans, so it was gonna be kind of like a toss-up if they were gonna fit or not. And they um just have some distressing on it. Um yeah, I'm happy. I think this is a really cute outfit. Different bra but cute outfit. And also shoes. And last but not least, I have another pair of earrings. Just a really like thick gold hoop. Sorry, I burped. <laughs> I love them. 
I love that with this, the, honestly, these hoops you can wear with literally everything, so I'm happy. I feel good. I mean, yeah, I think these are going to be awesome, and even if I lose weight, which hopefully I do, in like my, mm, this area, um, I think these will still fit, and I wouldn't mind them being like, I'm going to wear a belt if they get too loose. I love it. Okay, this was success. Oh, and just an update, uh, better get you in better lighting. I have been using this, the Well People Bio Tent. It's now when I looked it up online in the white bottle, so this was definitely their like last package. Uh, but I like it. It's super lightweight. You can definitely still see my acne through it, which I wanted. I mean, I don't love my acne, but I didn't want anything heavy, and I love that it has SPF in it, and just like helps just even out some of my skin tone, not all of it. I still look like really natural and like like a no makeup makeup look. So I'm so happy with that. I will buy it again. It's $30 though, so I would love to get it again at TG Maxx. And the skin, um, not the skin, the color was uh, number two and it matches me real nice. So I'm gonna probably take him for a walk before he gets angry. I just fed him, we're at a good point right now. So I'm gonna go and I will see you guys soon, probably doing his nursery furniture. Definitely doing his nursery furniture. Okay, adios.